If you're just getting started in the hobby of RC planes, it can be a little overwhelming knowing where to start. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at two great options that are actually really big and you get a lot of bang for your buck with these airplanes. That's not to say there aren't cheaper options out there, but if you spend less than this, either one of these, you're gonna get something about half the size or maybe even smaller. Now, both of these are ready to fly. That means they come with everything you need to get in the air. Some things ready to fly aren't fully ready to fly, but these are. This is the Arrows Trekker and the Arrows Prodigy. They'll both be linked in the description box below. Now, the only big difference between these two is the price, first and foremost. This one, ready to fly, I believe, at time of filming is 170, maybe 180. That's under $200 for a giant 1400 millimeter wingspan airplane, fully functional, brushless, and 3S power. This guy is a little more expensive, over $200, the ready to fly version, at $230. But what you're getting is a more realistic scale airplane. It's also brushless, as I said earlier, completely ready to fly and flies on the same as the Prodigy, the exact same battery, a 3S battery. They both, again, come with everything needed to get in the air, and we are gonna fly these and show you the difference between the two. But one more thing they both have, which is awesome, something called flight stabilization. These planes have, with the throw of a switch on your controller, the ability to keep the airplane completely auto level, even if you're upside down when you throw the switch, it'll flip back over quickly and just hold level until you throw that switch again. So they're great beginner airplanes. Let's put them in the air and have some fun. One of the biggest key differences between this, which is the Prodigy, and it's the cheaper of the two, and the Trekker, is the fact that this has to be hand launched. Well, it doesn't have to be. It, uh, if you had snow or ice, you could probably take off from the ground. In fact, when I throttle tested this before I took off, it wanted to scoot along. So I think we could take off without hand launching, but that's not what it was made to do. So if you're not a fan of hand launching, then you may already have decided which one is is for you and then of course you have to do a belly landing which means we're probably going to want to land this in the grass now i did take off with my flight stabilization on uh, it makes it very very easy to do hand launches because i don't like doing hand launches most of the time however this airplane has that prop mounted up in the back you can see it as we pass by there the prop has stopped there it is which makes it safer for hand launching, much, much safer. Some props are just in the whole rear of the uh, wing and, and easier too. Uh, but it also makes this plane louder. So listen to this. Pusher prop airplanes tend to be noisier than non-pusher prop airplanes. We'll do one more throttle pass. Well, let's turn stabilize off and climb it. As I said, this is a 3S airplane, so it's nice and powerful. So I, just with a throw of a switch, I turned my stabilize mode off. And we can do rolls, very nice and easy with this airplane. Should be able to pull off a pretty good loop with elevator authority. It's a very punchy airplane. It's really nice. It's got a lot of, a lot of power to it. I don't remember being as brave with this the last time it was on the channel. And we're doing inverted flight too. What a cool airplane for something that's completely ready to fly. That's the transmitter. I'll show you guys at the end of this flight, the battery, the charger, literally everything for 170. Now that's the normal price. I believe, I've been told anyway, that there is a Valentine's Day sale going on. If it's not going on by the time you're watching this video, it will be very soon. And most of the things that they make, at least a handful of them, will be on sale. So it might even be a little cheaper than that. Let's do a zero throttle pass. Nose into the wind, so it'll go a little slower. It's a great airplane. This has elevator authority, which means we have a lot of ability to push up and down like this on the airplane. 
we have our throttle. We actually have rudder control on this and two ailerons. The assembly of this and the Trekker together took me less than an hour. So I'd say about a half hour each, but I've put these together before and <clears throat> similar airplanes. So don't, don't beat yourself up if your assembly time is longer than mine. In fact, I don't like assembling the Prodigy. It is probably one of the worst foam airplanes to put together because you have to fish the wires through the long fuselage and it can be very frustrating and very annoying. Other than that, it's a really awesome airplane and we could get easily a 20 minute flight time or more on the included battery, but we're not gonna do that because I wanna show you guys the Trekker. So Abby, we are going to line this up for a nice smooth landing. Okay. Let's just try to put it down in the grass back there behind the asphalt. I believe I could catch this airplane, but we're not gonna do that because it's pretty big. So let's put it down across the runway, tall grass back there. Okay. Sometimes we land behind us, but today I just felt like this is a good spot to land. So let's go for it nice and slow and we'll flare at the end. What a perfect landing. Nice. Now, let's just test my theory really fast. It is pretty wet out today. No, we're You're not trimming gonna, we're some not, grass. We're not, we're not <laughs> I can hear the grass chewing up. <laughs> now I may have told you guys wrong. This arrow's trekker, I believe does not have the vectored stabilized, at least my version. Now, it can come with a stabilizer, uh, but this one, the one that I'm flying the ready-to-fly version here, does not. So bear that in mind, that may affect the price some. Now this is a very cool scale looking airplane. The one thing that I will always complain about with this Aeros Trekker, with the ready-to-fly Aeros planes, is their radio. Now I did notice the Trekker comes with the Aeros radio. Let's go loop. But the uh, Prodigy that I just flew, it had a Fly Sky radio. And I think that was a huge improvement over the one that they have been including. So this is a very capable airplane, but also a really nice trainer. And that's the reason I'm showing you guys some loops and maneuvers and things. Now, who remembers when we last featured the Trekker on the channel, the uh, plug and play version, which means it doesn't come with a radio receiver or battery or charger, we showed it on the channel and it was on sale and i think we broke the internet at least the world of rc internet when that happened because they sold out instantly the next shipment that was coming in sold out and they had to get caught up on orders for months and months and months and months and finally they did they should have just cut the orders off i think so too it should have just said out of stock yeah. can't buy it anymore and that's it but there were people that had to wait for literal months i think like six months uh, but they finally got them fulfilled and these are back in stock for the first time we kind of thought we'd never see the trekker again just because it kind of destroyed the internet i mean tons of these things people bought them it was it's just such a good deal it's already a really good deal but the plug and play version i mean it was an absolute steal so that's why it's kind of exciting to get these back out and to show you guys oh my gosh i wasn't ready for that i thought you were about to crash in front of us so, to show you guys, both of these really good trainer oh airplanes i don't know why i jumped the fact that there's this really awesome valentine's day sale Nice little touch and go. It's a really predictable airplane to fly. It's a good size. I like the bright orange on it, but if you need a little bit more decals like we've put on both of ours today, we'll have our RC Sailor Patreon page linked in the description box below. It's where you can go to support us if you, uh, if you so choose. Very awesome airplane, very forgiving, pretty easy to assemble. Both of them were. Let's see if we can do a hammerhead. Right up there where the clouds. Oh yeah, nice rudder authority. Great little airplane, super fun to fly. Let's do an actual landing, see if we can get a nice, pretty smooth landing. Keep it nice and scale. We'll hammerhead it into a landing. Oh, I, and I, I should have been more clear. I didn't mean straight into the ground. <laughs> kind of not too bad, not too bad. Guys, what we'll do is have both of these airplanes linked in the description box below but know there's other airplanes on the website that you can pick up that are on sale too it's not just these here's the difference in the controllers i like this controller it's fine but it has that annoying one minute beep some people might find that useful so you can track the time of your flight but i don't like it uh, and then this fly sky radio came with the prodigy 
So I like that they're doing this. It's a, it feels more hobby grade too, so it just felt better. And a lot of times when the radio feels better, you feel like you're flying a higher performance airplane. So personally, today I enjoyed flying the Prodigy a lot. I hope you found this video useful, especially if you're looking to get into the hobby of RC planes. There are tons of other options out there, some way more expensive, some a little cheaper. Just be careful when you do go cheaper. You might find something like the Isheen Warbirds. They're great at about $100 or so, so about half the price of these. But like I said, they're at least half the size of these too. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to get into something bigger and more hobby grade, this is a great place to start. Now, I also would like to recommend to our new pilots that you sign up for an insurance program. If you're flying something big and powerful like this, and some people might say these are small airplanes, but that's okay, they are getting bigger. I think you should fly with AMA. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for those of us that are flying RC planes. For about half the price of one of these airplanes, you can be insured for the entire year. It's not just insurance though. You also get a magazine subscription every month. That is a very good read. I love always flipping through ours. And it gives you access to events across the country. So I highly recommend you sign up for AMA. These planes will be linked in the description box below, guys. I mentioned that a couple times in this video and that's pretty important because if you use those links to buy these, it doesn't cost you a single extra penny. In fact, Using that link will help support our channel and our family. It's a great way to say thank you for making this free content, but it'll also get you right to the sale that is happening right now, Valentine's Day sale. If you're watching this video later, it's fine to know that these are just great airplanes at great prices anyway. So you're doing okay if you pay full price for these. Now finally, I'd like to say a massive thanks to God for getting us out in front of the camera to share this experience with you guys. I, uh, I'm just super grateful for really everything in our lives, but it's awesome that we get to have these moments and have some fun and share it with the world. So for that, I'm thankful. Also a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. And guys, if you're into about this size, maybe this price point of RC planes, Abby and I will have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.